modern advertising is saturated with humanistic sloganeering. And what do I mean by that? Like Nike, just do it. Right? What does that mean? Just do it. It implies there's some conscience you have, some self-restraint that you, uh, uh, an internal process you go through before you decide to do something. They're saying, don't listen to it. Don't think about it. Just do it. Right? Why? I have a series of ads that answer these questions. So Nike makes that proposal. Who gives the answer? L'Oreal. Because I'm worth it. <laughs> why should I just do it? Because I'm worth it. That's why. Right? But of all the ads I ever saw, the most blatant, uh, like just naked assertion of humanistic sloganeering was from a, a company whose slogan was Total indulgence, zero guilt. It was about Weight Watchers. It doesn't matter what it was about. But that was, they had the audacity to make that their slogan. Total indulgence, zero guilt. No conscience. Just indulge without conscience. Who does things without conscience? Generally, they're called animals. Right? The animals, they're not crying Oh, uh, when they, uh, you know, are eating the babies of others. They're not stopping to think, oh, these babies are so cute. Why should we do this? Never. Right? There was a YouTube video recently where they say, after this uh, uh, lioness killed, like, uh, a deer, and then it took the calf, and all the people went, ah, oh, look, she's taking the little deer calf back to her place, and someone else pointed out, yes, and after playing with it for a while, as cats do, she'll eat it. They'll kill it and offer it to her children. So a lack of conscience, of considering why we do things, self-restraint, what Solzhenitsyn, Alexander Solzhenitsyn called in his famous World Split Apart address, he said what is needed is Sir, volunt, serene, voluntary self-restraint. Serene, voluntary self-restraint. That's interesting. You could say that's the definition of tapasya, as Srila Prabhupada used to say and has in his Bhagavatam purports. What is tapasya? Voluntarily inconveniencing oneself for the sake of spiritual realization. You will be inconvenienced by living in this world. We will have to suffer by living in this world. It's inevitable, it's unavoidable. But a spiritually progressive person will voluntarily inconvenience themselves, will voluntarily undergo certain types of quote-unquote suffering for the sake of spiritual advancement.